This is the Anaheim Ducks High School Hockey League Weekly Report. I'm Andy Dickerson. Week 15 featured a three-game slate, starting with two of the top squads in Varsity Division 3 as Pacific Ridge took on Bishop Amat. All these shots right now by Bishop Amat coming from both very easy angles. Watch out. That one though, oh. somehow slips around the goaltender. He's going to turn uh -oh. the Jets, and he got the last man, Escamilla, leaning the wrong way. Comes in, shoots. Oh, knocked away save. by Cantillo. I lead you to believe that this was at the fault of a Oh, no! Miller with a shot. And because Cantillo is playing with a defensive man's stick, defenseman's stick, and not his own, not as wide of a base. Came in lower that shoulder, put the boot back. Watch out. This one out front. Lima with a shot saved by Kalsher. He... Uh oh, wow. And this one comes in and smacked it on the backside for the Firebirds. Could you? They're going to take a 2 1 league, Alec. Could wow. you? Uh oh. A couple seconds left. Watch Last out. chance oh. in front for Escobilla. He's stoned as the wow. period comes to a close. My goodness. That's the one of one. Oh, it's out. Front wow. out. It goes off the goaltender and in. Kaju. Kaju got a piece of it, poked it in at home. Because the time has come. Yes, it is. For Matt, Matt Blanchard to join us on oh. the air. Oh, out front shot score. Right on cue, the commission steps in. Brendan Miller scores for Pacific Ridge. It's 4 1 Firebirds. Um, JV is obviously easier. JV is oh. Big oh. hit on Harrelson oh. by Owen. Owen. And. For a minute? Yeah. Very interesting. Oh! oh that one flutters in on the backhand from Showman. Five games left, so they'll have that extra one to try to catch up. But for now, the Firebirds are in first place with 28 points in the Crescent wow. Conference. Six unanswered goals for the Firebirds gave them a 6-1 to one win over their Crescent Conference rivals and snapped the Lancers' eight-game winning streak. Next up was a D1-D2 crossover matchup between Capistrano United and Orange Lutheran. Away that time by number 23 and Ryan Adams. Shot comes in and they're making the save. Holding on tight for dear life is Garrett Kennedy. Stop. Adams now, the aforementioned Adams with center of pass. He takes a hit. O'Brien now with the shot. Save. Rebound. Another save right there. Drops it back in favor of Shane Bedger. Bedger cross nice pass. Shot comes in. Save again. Come on the attack. Diffley. Two on one. Fires a shot. Save to Harriet. Rebound. O'Brien. Brady now centers the pass that time. Tipped in. Save that time. Rebound. Another save. Another save right there. Shot. Another one. And I believe. Brady, centering pass that shot, shot and score, courtesy of Jacob Furry. By Olu, here's now Daniel Emmett gonna wire a shot, tipped in, shot, rebound, score, that time by Zach Pierce. That Kennedy's been in position the whole game. Centering pass, speaking of mid position again, shot, score again, this time Jeremy Mills. Knocked down right there at the left point by Ritter. Shot comes in and scored. Jacob Furry once again on a beautiful pass from Chase Young. Over, here's Furry with plenty of room. Back up to Pierce, fires a shot, and scored that time! Down over to Gavin O'Brien, right in front to his brother, Grady. Shot saved by Kennedy. Eight of Bradshaw into the back of that. Now here's pick in the pocket. Man shot, score! In favor of Jacob Furry! That's a way to get the hat trick right there. And for the near side, gives it back to Hurst. Hurst fires a shot and scores right there. Back down low once again, centering pass over to Furry, back to Young, shot comes in, save that time by the goal, rebound, score! In Shane Binger, it's up the ice. Three on two now, he walks in, top of slot, fires, shot, score! Inman goes coast to coast and makes the goaltender Kennedy look like burnt toast. Garrett Kennedy made some great stops early on, but the floodgates opened late in the first and never closed as the Lancers routed the Coyotes 9-0. Our last game of the weekend was back in Division Three as Woodbridge met up with Edison. Around now is McGuire. McGuire over to Santoro. Santoro centering pass back. McGuire shot saved that time. Here's Jones now walking in, racing behind the net. Shot comes in and Vanderween scores to make it one nothing in favor of Edison. Tip pass right there. Shot saved. Wolbert digging in is Osterkamp. This time to Clevenger. Clevenger just fires a shot and scores that time. And I'm not sure if centering pass right there, a little too hot for Riley Lord to handle. Centering pass comes up right in front, shot, score! That time by number 72, Derek Jackson. This is first save of the period. Right back in the slot, McGuire fires a shot, save, rebound, another save. Chase will be beaten to the biscuit that time by Strail. Strail now walks in, leading score, fires a shot, scores! Short-handed, and don't turn this off just yet, folks. Back out comes Patrick Jackson. 
floats it over that time to Jones. Jones gets past one man, goes to the backhand shot, saved by Wolbert. Oh. Comes Santoro, walks in, backhander shot, saved by Wolbert. The turnover right here is Osterkamp takes it. Ryan now walks in, fires a shot, bangs it off the oh. skate and score right there. Ryan Osterkamp with the goal. And with that goal, Edison takes a commanding 4-1 lead. A slow and steady attack from the Chargers yielded a hard-fought 4-1 win over the Warriors. In other action on Friday, St. John Bosco trounced Corona Norco 8-0. Nicholas Lazalde had to make a mere five saves to pick up his first shutout of the season. On Saturday, a three-goal third period helped Huntington Beach come from behind to beat Beckman. Tommy Lang picked up the game winner midway through the final frame in that one. Benjamin Kahn scored shorthanded with 48 seconds left to give the Griffins a huge 2-1 win over Servite. And it was the Daniel DeLavaya show for the Braves against Poway as he had seven goals and added an assist for good measure in their 10-0 win. Lazalde made 10 stops, double the amount he made the previous day, to earn his second donut in as many days. Be sure to check out ADHSHL.com for the latest info about the league, and stay tuned for more great action as we head toward the playoffs in March. For the ADHSHL, I'm Andy Dickerson. So long.